It's over two years since the pandemic first hit and Tonga is in its very first lockdown. The shutdown began on Wednesday evening after two wharf workers tested positive for COVID-19. There had been fears that an influx of international ships and planes delivering badly needed water, shelter and food after a volcanic eruption in January would increase the risk of a pandemic outbreak in the isolated Pacific nation. However, the infected waterfront workers were not employed on docks where aid was being delivered. Previously, Tonga had only recorded one COVID case. Locals queued outside banks and petrol stations ahead of the lockdown. By Thursday morning, the streets were deserted. Local journalist Marian Kupu is in the capital, Nuku'alofa. Um, I'm standing in the intersection of uh, Wellington Road and uh, Railway Road. Normally, this road will be queuing with vehicles and people. But as you can see, all shops are closed. Everything is closed. Tex taxi stands, shops, supermarkets. It it's closed. It's a ghost town here in the Kualofa. Tongan radio station Broadcom FM reported on Wednesday another three cases had been detected in a family, bringing the total case numbers to five.